Tail cords stretch when needed and spring back into a tight coil afterwards. And that means no tangled knots and wiring snarl-ups, which saves time that would otherwise be spent straightening things out. Production begins with thermoplastic colorant. The color selected indicates the electrical function of each wire in the cord. It takes just a small amount to tint a batch of white plastic pellets a vivid hue as they melt in an extruder. Tin-plated copper wire feeds into that extruder and the colored molten plastic coats the wire to provide an insulating wrap. As it exits the extruder, the plastic casing is still warm and soft, but cool water solidifies it. A spool then takes up the insulated wiring. Next, several wires unwind simultaneously over guide rollers and into a spreader plate. The plate precisely aligns the wires as they feed into a die. This die draws them down to the correct diameter while a mechanism further down the production line twists the wires into one core. and onto a plastic jacket. It also takes a trip through a cooling station to solidify. So it's now ready to be coiled. This worker gets the process started by manually winding it around a rod. Then he presses a button and the automated winder does the rest. This establishes and bake them at approximately 90 degrees Celsius. It's now achieved by reversing the direction of the coil. The equipment used for that is proprietary, so this worker demonstrates the basic concept with a drill. The drill turns the cord counterclockwise for an impressive rewind. The effect ripples all the way down to the end. Reversing the direction of the coil transforms it. The process tightens the spirals so that after the cord is stretched, it retracts to its original shape.